The US elections are finally over and we have a winner. Trump has been elected President of the United States and Republicans won the crown back after four years of Biden's administration. Now the big question for investors is, how is this going to influence the stock markets in the months and years to come? Tax policy is certainly a central point. When passed in 2017, the package represented the most discussed domestic policy of the Trump administration. In short, the act was a federal tax code that lowered the top corporate income tax rate for C corporations from 35% to 21%, and the maximum tax rate for certain S corporations from 37% to 29.6%. In general, now that Trump won, we can expect the provision to be extended, along with other tax breaks that Trump spoke about. Now, lower tax collections are going to make it harder for the government to control the budget deficit. Namely, the government, with less cash coming in from taxes, is going to have a harder time covering the government expenses. So, you're going to have this double-edged sword of lower tax rates that are going to help large corporations and partially also small businesses, and at the same time, a government that goes further into debt weakening the US image. This usually results in a short-term faster growth, but is possibly followed by a faster decline of the US in the long term, together with weakening of the US dollar. Now, obviously, when the deficit increases because the government has less cash coming in from taxes, there are other ways to get money. During Trump's campaign, one of the strategies proposed was that of additional tariffs on imported goods. Tariffs, though, particularly those placed on Chinese goods, while bringing in more money also represent an issue. Obviously, they encourage domestic investments and generate revenue for the US government. And this is good. But they're also going to increase costs for consumers and businesses and may start a trade war with China and the East. I expect whatever decision will be taken regarding tariffs to create a lot of volatility in the stock market and uncertainty for investors. Companies that rely on international trade, like technology, retail, or industrial firms, may see their stock decline because of fear of higher costs or lost foreign revenue. And US companies that are affected by tariffs may have lower profits because of cost increase or because of less global demand. So this is likely going to negatively impact stock prices, particularly in sectors like technology, manufacturing, and consumer goods. Another aspect to consider is that Republicans are likely going to push for development of fossil fuels, while a Democratic Party would have promoted more renewable energies development. Good thing is, policy tendencies don't always translate into investment outcomes. Ironically, businesses tied to renewable energies saw their stocks perform better under the Trump administration, while stocks of oil companies and other traditional energy companies have performed better under the Biden administration. So you see that mostly the issues of taxes and tariffs are the two variables that will affect the stock market markets when it comes to which administration runs the show. But it's actually really hard to foresee the real effect of such actions because there are so many variables that you can't really recognize what causes what. So another way we can look at a question is by looking at what happened in the past. A study by US bank investment strategists looked at market data from the past 75 years and identified patterns that repeated themselves during election cycles. Obviously, the results of this study are not scientific and are just based on statistics, because the strategists didn't do anything more than look at past correlations between elections and the three months returns of the S&P 500 after the elections. Still, they are interesting to take a look at. The first result we can see is that the fact that the same party controls both the White House and Congress isn't really correlated with market performance. Instead, the outcomes that statistically had a significant relationship to market performance were all cases of divided governments. In particular, Democrats controlling the White House and Republicans controlling Congress, as well as Democrats controlling the White House and split party controlling Senate and House, were two scenarios that in the past corresponded to positive absolute returns compared to other periods. The White House control on the hands of the Republicans instead brought to results where the S&P 500 in the following three months performed either slightly better than in the other periods or slightly worse. Again, these are just correlations based on what happened in the past and only have statistical meaning. Real economic and inflation trends that we're going to see in the future are going to have a stronger effect on market returns. In general, rising economic growth and falling inflation have been associated with returns that are considered above long-term averages, while falling growth and rising inflation have corresponded to positive 
but below average market returns. For us investors, staying focused on these patterns is probably more important than reflecting on what the next administration is going to do. Now, I'd like to know what you guys think. Again, this video wasn't intended as a political discussion, but merely a reflection on how the chosen administration might affect the next 12 months of stock market. So let us know what you think. Don't miss my next videos that are going to be about my investment strategies for 2025. And above all, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I wish you a great day, everyone. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.